my lovely Gemini, welcome. Okay, this is going to be your next 48 hours. So we're going to see what's happening, what's going on, what you can expect the next 48 hours. We have prosperity lies ahead. Beautiful. So there could be money coming in, my beautiful Gemini. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have soulmates. Wow, okay. Could be new love coming in as well. Your soulmate could be searching for a beautiful Gemini. Okay, let's go ahead and get another card. We have clear audience. Okay, Archangel Zachiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So take notice of the things that people say to you. I feel like, Gemini, I feel like you really get a lot of attention. I feel like people are always saying very kind words to you because you're a kind person. You're very giving. You have this magnetic quality about yourself that kind of draws people. You know, I feel like even when you're feeling under the weather, that people like boost your ego. They boost your confidence with the nice, kind words that they say. So I feel like those things are going to be said to you. Okay? Those things are going to be noticed. And at the bottom we have beloved one, Archangel Shamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate rel uh, relationship. Okay? So, I feel like if this is a soulmate coming through, I feel like this may be divinely guided. You know? This could be the soulmate that you've been waiting for, my lovely Gemini. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get your reading. Next 48 hours, please. What does Gemini need to know? What's going on for Gemini the next 48 hours? What's going on for Gemini in the next 48 hours, please? Okay, the Hierophant. Yeah, there's that spiritual guidance, feeling aligned. We have the Justice card. Wow. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So you may be focusing on your rest, your rejuvenation. You may be feeling a little bit lazy, procrastinating. It could be that you need to watch your finances the next 48 hours, you know. Um, watch your spending. Okay, we have the, ooh, the Three of Swords. Okay, the Devil. The Devil is at the, at the middle energy. Okay, there could be something blocking you. Wow. Okay, let's get some more energy for Gemini. The nine, excuse me, the eight of swords in reverse. You're freeing yourself from this devil energy. Yes, the eight of swords is being prison, imprisoned by your own thinking. But in reverse, it's freeing yourself from that thinking. Right? So I feel like you're freeing yourself from this devil energy. Okay? Let's get some more messages for Gemini. The Four of Cups in reverse. Wow. The Five of Pentacles. Excuse me, the King of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm saying this wrong. And the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay? At the bottom, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there is some kind of new beginning. There may be a need for you to set your priorities to gain your balance, but I feel like this Ace of Pentacles energy is going to help you, you know, put those into perspective. You know, and I feel like with these priorities may, be, may come more responsibility. You know, I feel like you are carrying a large load. Um, there are things that you need to handle, right? Um... There is news coming in. I'm not quite sure if this is if you're going to see this as good news, but I do feel like it's going to get you thinking nonetheless. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel like there is going to be a change. Definitely some kind of change coming forward for you, right? 
Now, here's the thing, Gemini. With the Hierophants, with the Three of Swords, this could be problems in a marriage. You know, this could be problems in a relationship. It could be your soulmate connection um, that you're having these problems. And I, I feel like you're trying to find solutions. We have the Justice card here. So I feel like, you know, where you've been wronged, you're going to be made whole. You know, things are becoming more balanced. But I do feel like, you know, this very well could be someone who's very toxic at times, you know, and you feel the need to really free yourself from this energy because, you know, we see that you're, you're trying to gain balance, but you're also trying to recover. You're, you're resting. You're not moving forward. You're just like exhausted, right? And I feel like you're exhausted from the situation. You may be exhausted from trying to work it out. You're exhausted from, you know, going through this heartbreak. But you are freeing yourself from this energy. Um, I'm really getting... This devil energy is Capricorn, right? We also have Libra energy and... Um, with the Hierophants, we have... Who is the Hierophant? Oh my goodness. Taurus. Taurus energy. Okay. Um, but it could be any sign. Okay. But Capricorn is very is sticking out very strongly because it's in the middle of the energy. Okay. So this could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. It could be, you know, someone who is more on a negative side, but someone who may not want to be on a negative side, right? So they're like, I feel like this person is doing a lot of working with themselves too, but you're exhausted. You know, you're ready, you're ready for something to go your way. And I feel like you have that with the Eight of Swords in reverse because you're freeing yourself from these expectations. From whatever expectations that this person has set on you, you're, you're freeing yourself from that. You're like, I, that, I no longer want this. I'm ready for something different, right? With the Four of Cups energy in reverse, I feel like you're choosing happiness. You're choosing to be more accepting and to be more aware of your situation. You're not choosing to sit back and just, Take what someone else has to say about you, right? You're willing to accept yourself just as you are, okay? And I feel like that's putting you into this more abundant place, feeling more stable. You know, um, feeling, feeling more abundant. You're finding that stability. Okay? You, you're not really relying on what people are saying about you. You're not really in your feelings about this. Although, I do feel like it's touching you on an inner level. With this um, Queen of Cups. I feel like you're feeling very insecure in the situation, but you're not showing it. Okay? But you also may feel like you're being smothered. Like someone just is just depleting you of your energy. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarity on this message. The next 48 hours for Gemini. Why is the Hierophant here? That's way too many spirits. Give me a message. Why is the Hierophant here? The Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Like I said, if this is a marriage, I feel like the marriage is changing. The marriage is shifting. Um, if this is you becoming more spiritual, you are changing your perspective. You're doing a lot of changing as well, right? Um... But this is also you hitting a turning point. 
in maybe this relationship or in your spiritual journey. You're hitting a turning point. Okay. Why is the justice card here? Spirit, give me a message. Why is the justice card here? Yeah, you just want love and acceptance. You know, that's what you want. You want love and acceptance. You want that abundance to come through for you when it comes through the heart aspect of things. You know, um, I feel like this could also be an offer that is going to make, be made, made right. You know, someone wronged you, Gemini, and now they're bringing in this offer, this new offer to renew this love. Okay, it could be this soulmate energy coming through. It could be something different. It could be a whole new different person. Okay, so why is the nine, uh, excuse me, why is the ten of pentacles here? Give me a message for the ten of pentacles. Excuse me, that's the nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay, the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking for love and acceptance. You're, you're looking for your happiness. You're no longer accepting anything different. Okay? You're no longer accepting anything other than what you deserve. You feel like you deserve love. And so you're not, no longer feeling like, you know, I, I can't have this because this person won't give it to me. You're going out and getting it for yourself. Right? So tell me why the three of swords here. Why the why is the three of swords here? The two of swords. There's a choice that needs to be made. I feel like you're you're very brokenhearted, but this is a difficult choice. This is and I I'm really feeling like this is a difficult choice to where you may have to walk away from a situation. You have to make a very hard decision what to do in this relationship. What to do with this disappointment? Do you hold on to it or do you let it go? Do you try to work through this or do you just let let the let it fall where it may? You know? Tell me why is the devil here? Give me a message. Why is the devil here? The five of pentacles. Yeah, this devil energy has been keeping you very overwhelmed left out, depleted, unsatisfied, and unfulfilled. It's also been keeping you, very, and I feel like you've been feeling very unappreciated when it comes to this devil energy. Give me more messages. Why is the five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles and the devil here? Because you, you're, you're coming out of that energy. You're now accepting something different. Look at this. We have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? So you're no longer accepting this devil energy. You're setting yourself free from it. Give me a message for the, the Eight of Swords. Message for the Eight of Swords, please. Yeah, look at this. The Ace of Swords. You no longer want to talk to this person. You no longer want to speak to this person. You're setting yourself free. You're becoming clear on what it is that you want. And you're setting yourself free. Look at all this. The Wheel of Fortune. This is a turning point. The Ace of Cups. New beginning. The Ace of Pentacles. New beginning. The Ace of Swords. New beginning. Okay? So you're definitely working on yourself. Okay? You're working on your happiness your abundance, your life, okay? Why is the Four of Cups here in reverse? The moon, because you're not sure. You're not sure of yourself. You still have some insecurities, but you're not, you're not letting anyone know those insecurities. You're keeping those insecurities totally to yourself. You're not letting anyone know that you're scared or that you're fearful, or that you don't know what the future may bring. You're just holding those insecurities to yourself because you know that you can overcome them. Okay? With the King of Pentacles, we have the King of Cups. Definitely. You're being more stable. 
if you're looking for love there's an offer here there's a big offer for love someone's pouring out their emotions to you okay someone's pouring out their emotions okay why is the queen of cups here why is the queen of cups here the fool because you're moving away from these insecurities you're an innocent soul my beautiful gemini we also have the Queen of Cups in the upright. So you're going on this new journey of discovery, of loving yourself, moving away from your insecurities, moving away from your doubts and fears. You are learning how to love yourself. And in doing that, you are going to attract this King of Cups energy who sees how confident and how reassured you are. You know, you're very attractive. You're very beautiful. And I feel like people find themselves very attracted to you. Very attracted to your sense of humor, your character, your inner being. You know, you have this inner light when it comes to you, my beautiful Gemini. And I feel like, yeah, there's definitely a new journey ahead for you. The Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords the fool okay so this is new beginnings you know the universe is reconfirming that you're in for something beautiful that something beautiful is being restored in you okay so let's get some messages for gemini what else does gemini need to hear right now what does Gemini need to hear right now? We have please forgive me. Yeah. Someone really wants your forgiveness. Someone wants you to accept their apology. Gemini. We also have believe in yourself. Beautiful. Get away from all those insecurities. Because all them insecurities are just going to bind you up. And lock yourself up in this in prison. That you know... It's not meant for you. It's not meant for you at all. Okay. We have you are limitless, my beautiful Gemini. We have listen to your inner voice. Use your intuition. Okay. And connect with your soul tribe. Okay. So be around people. Be around people who love and support you. We have I've learned my lesson. Okay. We also have be aware and we have your abundance is on the way. At the bottom we have believe in yourself again. Okay, so the universe is letting you know. Your angels are letting you know. Believe in yourself. Gemini, you are limitless. Okay, no one can tie you down unless you choose to be tied down. No one can hinder you unless you choose for them to do so. They can't make you insecure unless you give them that power. Okay? So don't give people your power. Okay, let's get an angel number for Gemini. We have 1919 transformation. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Transformation. Okay, it is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings. Your affirmation, I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Okay, so I feel like definitely... You're being divinely guided into your next purpose, into this new beginning. Okay? So you're going through this beautiful transformation. Right now you may be in the cocoon, my beautiful Gemini. But soon you'll be emerging that beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Okay? So Gemini, I hope this reading helps. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. And you can also take a look at your next reading, which I do readings every week. Okay. And my beautiful one, 
many blessings to you. Love and light.